Hello, good morning and welcome to St Catherine by the Sea Holworth for morning prayer on Saturday the 8th of December as well as being the conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and I guess there's more material further on in the Red Book about two-thirds of the way in under the festivals section under today's date we're using the Advent order I think possibly for the first time up here um, and that can be found at the beginning if you're following in the Common Worship Daily Prayer Red Book after prayer during the day, morning and evening prayer, ordinary time in the seasons and Advent begins the season section. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence that, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. <clears throat> to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. A song of the King's glory. Shall we do it by alternate verses? Yeah. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm <coughs> upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing <coughs> from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> so we turn to the back of the Red Book or scroll down if we're following in an app or online to the Psalter for Psalm 9 and Psalm 10. Psalms 9 and 10, they open and close with refrains, so say the glory be before you conclude with the refrains which we say together. We may use the prayers that follow in silence if we wish, otherwise we read by alternate verses, keeping a pause at the diamond. Psalms 9 and 10. You, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvellous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will make music to your name, O Most High. When my enemies are driven back, they stumble and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on your throne, giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. 
The enemy was utterly laid waste. You uprooted their cities, their memory, their, me their very memory has perished. But the Lord <coughs> shall endure forever. He has made fast his throne for judgment. For he shall rule the world with righteousness and govern the people with equity. Then will the Lord be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in the time of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare among the peoples the things he has done. The avenger of blood has remembered them. He did not forget the cry of the oppressed. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider the trouble I suffer from those who hate me. You that lift me up from the gates of death. That I may dwell, that I may tell all your praises in the gates of the city of Zion and rejoice in your salvation. The nations shall sink into the pit of their making and in the snare which they set will their own foot be taken. The Lord makes himself known by his acts of justice. The wicked are snared in the works of their own hands. They shall return to the land of darkness all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, and let not mortals have the upper hand. Let the nations be judged before your face. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves <coughs> to be but mortal. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. <coughs> you, you, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. <coughs> and so, Psalm 10. You, you, Lord, have, have never failed those who seek you. Why stand so far off, O Lord? Why hide yourself in time of trouble? The wicked in their pride persecute the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes they have devised. The wicked boast of their heart's desire. The covetous curse and revile the Lord. The wicked in their arrogance say, God shall not avenge it. In all their scheming, God counts for nothing. They are stubborn in all their ways, for your judgments are far above out of their sight. They scoff at all their adversaries. They say in their heart, I shall not be shaken. No harm shall ever happen to me. Their mouth is full of cursing, deceit and fraud. Under their tongues lie, the mischief, lie mischief and wrong. They lurk in the outskirts and in the dark alleys they murder the innocent. Their eyes are ever watching for the helpless. They lie in wait like a lion in his den. They lie in wait to seize the poor. They seize the poor when they get them into their net. The innocent are broken and humbled before them. The helpless fall before their power. They say in their heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face away, he will never see it. Arise, O oh my God, and lift up your hand. Forget not the poor. Why should the wicked be scornful of God? Why should they say in their hearts, you will not avenge it? Surely you behold trouble and misery. You see it and take it into your own hand. The helpless commit themselves to you, for you are the helper of the orphan. Break the power of the wicked and malicious. <coughs> Search out their wickedness until you find none. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. The nation shall perish from his land. Lord, you will hear the desire of the poor. You will incline your ear to the full, fullness of their heart. To give justice to the sorry. To give justice to the orphan and oppressed, so that people are no longer driven in terror from the land. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. You, you Lord, have, have never failed, failed those, those who seek you. Seek you. <clears throat> A 
I was reminded about the verse from All Things Bright and Beautiful that we don't no longer sing. The mm -hmm. rich man in his castle, the poor man at his gate. Yes. Which uh, rather contradicts that. <laughs> psalm, <laughs> the funny. intention of the psalm. <laughs> <laughs> so, to the canticle back in morning prayer, Advent, a song of the wilderness. So. Uh, Lift up your voice with strength, O herald, herald of, of good, good tidings. tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, Be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment. Come in with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. So you turn to our Bibles now, as I just read something about today, but it's Isaiah 44, from 24. This is from celebrating the saints the conception of the blessed virgin mary festival in honor of the conception of the mother of our lord is celebrated on this day in both the eastern or orthodox and western roman catholic church and its derivatives this feast which dates from the seventh century marks the dawn of the new covenant celebrating the gracious preparation by god of his people to receive their savior and lord putting heaven in ordinary and showing that mortal flesh can indeed bring Christ to the world. So it's Isaiah 44 from 24 to the 13th verse in the following chapter. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm just making sure I see where it is, yeah. yeah 44. 13 verses right in the middle of the following chapter. <coughs> right, from 24. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, who force, formed you in the womb, I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who by myself spread out the earth, who frustrates the omens of liars and makes fools of diviners, who turns back the wise and makes their, no their knowledge foolish, who confirms the word of his servant and fulfills the prediction of his messengers, who says of Jerusalem, it shall be inhabited, and of the cities of Judah, they shall be rebuilt, and I will raise up their ruins, and I will raise up their ruins, who says by the deep be dry, I will dry up your rivers, who says of Cyrus, he is my shepherd, and he shall carry out all my purpose. And who says of Jerusalem, it shall be rebuilt. And of the temple, your foundation shall be laid. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped, to subdue nations before him, and strip kings of their robes. To open doors before him, and the gates shall not be closed. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you treasures of darkness and riches hidden in secret places, so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who call you by your name. 
for the sake of my servant Jacob and Israel, my chosen, I call you by your name. I surname you, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, there is no other. Besides me, there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is no one besides me. <clears throat> I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make will and create woe. I am the Lord. I, the Lord, do all these things. Shower, O heavens, from above, and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open that salvation may spring up, and let it call right, cause righteousness to sprout up also. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe to you who strive with your Maker within vessels, to a Maker, earthen vessels with the potter. Does the clay say to the one who fashions it, What are you making? or your works have no handled. Woe to anyone who says to the father, what are you begetting? Or to a woman, with what are you in labour? Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and its maker, will you question me about my children? or command me concerning the works of my hands. I made the earth and credited human and created humankind upon it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens, and I commanded all their host. I have aroused Cyrus in righteousness, and I will make all his paths straight. He shall build me a city and set my exiles free. Not for price or reward, says the Lord of hosts. Thank you. <coughs> so the most important word here is this Cyrus name, who is Persian, I think. And um, this is, I think, in the middle section, is it all towards the end of Isaiah, where um, they are in exile and being encouraged to stay pure and or towards the end of exile and being encouraged to return home and so this feels like as you were reading it the encouragement to return home bit um, but Kairos is important because um, throughout Jewish history it's been one of their own that saved them the Messiah yeah a servant of God whereas this Kairos ch chap is pagan from another or you know Gentile yeah um, but he is restoring them to their land. So this argument here is by the, sort of the, the seers, the wise people from within the Jewish faith in exile, mm -hmm. to create an argument that Cyrus is God's person. Even the though he's an outsider. Yeah. yeah. Question, it's a question whether it was written before or after the event. Yes. Um, but so that's why the <clears throat> opening passage talks about God who creates all things, makes fools of diviners, fulfills prediction of his messengers. He says of Cyrus, he is my shepherd yeah. and of Jerusalem it will be rebuilt. And he then goes on, I have appointed Cyrus, thus says the Lord who, to his anointed to Cyrus. Um, I will go before you and level the mountains. It's the sort of thing that you'd imagine he would have written about Messiah, yeah. a Jewish person relieve, redeeming his people, but it's to an external candidate. Um, I form light and create darkness. I make wheel and create woe. That's interesting. That uh, for the Hebrew people, for us, God is good and the devil is bad. And yet, yes. But before the invention of the devil in the New Testament times, God, as we still know, actually, God is overall. Yeah. But evil wasn't personified until fairly late. So God was responsible for good and bad. Good to the people he would do good to, and bad to those that he would do bad to. And then um, <coughs> no, 
I think the business of skies raining down righteousness is because they're moving from an arid to an arid land. Yeah. Because that was the downside of the promised land. They yeah. relied on obedience to God to make the weather right in their understanding. Whereas Egypt and uh, Babylon, where they'd been exiled to, I guess they had water to yeah. spare, which is why they, they were strong. Um, and then the closing section, this business of does a pot ask the potter what it's up to, mm. um, is I guess those who are questioning, well, why is it that an external person yeah. is rescuing us? But they're, God knows what God's doing. Don't, don't challenge God's methods. Yes. So I guess for us it would be not unlike being prepared to learn from people outside the Christian faith or from other faiths or yes. whatever. Yeah. Um, or just find God in people and places and thoughts that we would not otherwise think Agreed. Were, yeah. were right, mm. perhaps. Yes. So I don't know, an example might be people who don't believe in lotteries, being prepared to receive money from heritage lottery now that i do have a problem with but, but, but that's <laughs> yeah, but that yeah. sort of that would be that would be a harsh command uh, I found for, for you with that, yes. okay but another one might be for somebody else i don't know they might have a woman minister or a, yes. a gay minister or something like that but, um, or whatever yeah. it might be yes. for each of us it might be a, um, and that's not to say that we must take that which is outside no but it might be that in that circumstance the challenge is there and it's actually the right thing to do yes Revelation 22, our next one. Revelation 22 from 6. From 6. Yeah. Right, okay. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. For the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has set his angel to show his servants what must soon take place. See, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed them to me. But he said to me, you must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your comrades, the prophets, and with those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. And he said to me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book for the time is near. Let the evil doers still do evil, and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. See, I am coming soon, my reward is with me, to repay according to everyone's work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they sh will have the right to the tree of life and may enter the city by the gates. Outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and fornicators and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. It is I, Jesus, who sent my angel to you with this testimony for the churches. I am the, root of the I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, come, and everyone who hears say, come, and let everyone who is thirsty come. Let anyone who wishes take the water of life as a gift. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to that person the plagues described in this book. If anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away that person's share in the tree of life, in the holy city, which are descended, which are described in this book. The one who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming soon. 
Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all the saints. Amen. Thank you. It certainly doesn't disappoint as a conclusion to the Holy Scriptures, does it? It's no. tremendous. It's like the end of a great symphony piece, and I'm not a great expert on how music works, but the various themes and ideas are just sort of brought back to the surface and finished off and represented, and then it just builds beautifully to that. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all the saints. Amen. Yeah. Um, I was interested by that line that says, let the evil doer still do evil, the filthy still be filthy, the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. Um, it seems, because my, there are two main themes in scripture, one is that the bad just stay bad and they go, and that the world is to be plundered and it'll be replaced. The other is that we're for renewal and change, and people can be helped to be more fully who God intended them to be, and that yes. the world is there to be cared for and restored um, and that those lines let the filthy still be filthy whatever like are like that parable that we read yesterday where the wheat and the tares are in the field yeah both together they grow together and then are harvested at the end which is a theme that's through scripture yeah. i admit but it's different it would seem to me to further on you read um let anyone who is thirsty come anyone who wishes to take the water of life as a gift that suggests the other yeah. main theme of perhaps you have to decide to do it for yourself and um, it's almost cases um, stop trying to persuade people let them make their own minds up but yeah. the ones the ones who get it right will be will be saved or yeah but it, it's it's nevertheless interesting isn't it that there's those two apparently contrasting one is hope yes. water in aridity but the other just keep going. But yes, you may be. Yeah. And the other thing, I have to apologise for Holy Dog Barnabas, who's with us for outside other dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry about that, Joe. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we're we'll back to um, morning prayer and advent for the responsory. And on to the Song of Zechariah the Benedictus, which I've got the refrain for the day, so I'll just crack on and you join in it. Blessed be. Yes. Yeah? So the response read first. Now it is time to awake out of sleep, for, for the, the night, night is far spent and, and the day is at hand. hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the, the night, night is far, far spent. spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. For the, for the day, day is at hand. hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. For, for the, the night, night is far spent and, and the day is at hand. hand. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord the God, God of Israel, who has come, come to his people and set them free. He has, has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And, and you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. Let us pray. I see you've got that card from the door. Do you uh, deal with it uh, as and when you feel is appropriate? <clears throat> Lord of the Sabbath, Prince of Peace, 
comforter, advocate, three in one, one in three. We thank you again for this day of rest. And we pray for those who are not at ease in themselves, those who are anxious about circumstances, about health as it affects them, their family, who are worried about uh, political developments in our land, pollution, climate breakdown, these and any other fears or concerns, rational or otherwise. We pray for those who are not at peace at home, who are internally displaced or exiled from their land due to war, which is not of their desire or making, and which will not benefit them, whatever peaceful outcome is achieved by the international community. And we pray for those who work that we may rest today. Emergency and military services, Coast Guard, people involved in communications, whether it's roads or inter uh, the internet, or telephones, radio broadcasting and so on, people in hospices and hospitals, retail and wholesale, those who farm, involved in forestry or fishing. We pray that they in their turn would have opportunities to rest and recreate, to develop those parts of themselves that are not expressed in their work, to spend time with family and friends, and should they choose to spend time with their Lord and Saviour. to pray for Kerry Brown, age 24, and this was put on here on Monday, and it says, please pray for healing from cancer through surgery today. So on Monday, she was operated on to, um, in, a, in an attempt to cure some can and cancer. Her mother says, the very bottom of this, just pray, and it's not, uh, it's, it's, her concern is that we focus on caring and pray for her. So she's very young at 24. Those of us who, got, who are older can reflect on that. Pray for her and her mother and the family. From Operation World, we pray for the United States of America in particular, their work in mission. They have, as a country, pioneered and generously supported mission on a massive scale for more than a century. And uh, the writers claim that the number, variety and commitment of US missionaries and agencies have impacted every nation on earth. So we thank you for and pray for all the major coordinating organisations. They will continue to work well together and with grace and humility amongst those they serve. We thank you for the local churches as they raise people up with a desire to pursue their calling and support them financially and in prayer. We pray for partnership between those local churches and the mission agencies. And we pray for long-term strategies to be created that enable people to go out and serve for enough time to make a real difference in the communities where they are active. And we pray that the fervour and enthusiasm for those who go on mission trips will be channeled into long-term commitment. We pray for Christian media ministries, literature, radio, television, internet and digital, that all who are involved in creating um, outreach material in these media will create it in a way that is creative, compelling, attractive uh, and accessible so that the message is 
received and understood that we may leave the Spirit to help those who are reached by it to make their decisions as whether they choose to follow or not. Amen. From Christian Action Research and Education, we pray the government will act on the recent all-party parliamentary group on prostitution. Their report is behind closed doors and it sets out the financial and personal cost of sexual exploitation and the need to reduce demand as this pulls traffickers and crime gangs to the UK. Pray for all who are working to release people who are trapped in that life through poverty, through abusive relationship. And we pray for the police, um, including locally, as our um, commissioner has made it clear that his main rule for deciding on resource is to protect the vulnerable and uh, people who are caught in being made to use their bodies for the, to fulfil the desires and greed of others must be amongst those who are the vulnerable. And uh, we pray for the protection of those who seek to bring release and rescue. We thank you for safe houses and the like um, in our county and beyond. For the work of the Salvation Army and others like them that uh, behind the scenes do provide these escape routes for those who are caught up in this nefarious business. And we pray that those who organise, compel, control will be found out and brought to justice. From Green Christian, religious leaders from the Christian, Jewish, Sikh, Hindu, Muslim and Buddhist faiths have sent a letter to the Prime Minister raising concerns about the UK's growing obesity rates, food bank use and rising tension over immigration, pointing to the UN Sustainable Development Goals as an opportunity to build a more sustainable, healthy and inclusive national community. Only 24% of those community development, uh, sustainable development goals are on track to be achieved by the United Kingdom by 2030. The letter urges Theresa May to appoint a minister dedicated to achieving them as part of efforts to address poverty, inequality and environmental stresses. It's a very sad indictment to our nation that that's how few of those we're on track to achieve. Yeah. And uh, we thank you for the political involvement of those religious leaders to write that letter. And we pray that their and other encouragement will move our government to make necessary changes. Amen. And in our benefit cycle, we give thanks for all the financial support that we've received, planned, gift aided, bequeathed, spontaneous. And we thank you that in you, people can give as much as they are able and you receive it as the level of sacrifice that was made. We think of the woman who gave her pennies after others had given plenty. And Jesus said she has given more than they because that was all she had. And so we thank you for those who give specifically financially to your work, to sustaining my ministry, to sustaining our maintenance of our buildings and other outreach work that we're able to do in this place. Amen. <clears throat> we pray for Anne, Cyril, <coughs> Cynthia, Carol, Jack, Lisa, Jack, Dulcie, Beth, Alex. Celia, Jeff, John, Keith, Anne, Chris, Kathleen, Elizabeth, Michael, Leslie, Kevin, Peter, Liz, Noel, Alison, Graham, Suzanne, Suzanne, Tessa, Laura, Pat, Richard, Liz and Tony as half the church membership in Owamoyne. Having prayed for generosity of financial givers, we pray thank you for their generosity with their time, talents, money and efforts for the support of the Owamoyne parish and their contribution to their community and to the church there. We pray your blessing on them of health, wealth, prosperity, of salvation, healing and deliverance. For those amongst them for whom life is difficult, that they will know to call on you, and that they will know your answer to their prayer in your presence with them. We pray also for those for whom life is going well, that they may turn to you with thanksgiving and share that which they have with those in need around about them and further afield. We pray for those amongst these for whom we pray that believe on your name, that they will increase in their experience and understanding of that faith and those that do not will be drawn to you 
especially at this time of seeking and preparation for your birth, as we remember that, amongst other things that we celebrate later in this month. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. <coughs> Almighty and everlasting God, who stoops. Everlasting God, who stooped to raise fallen humanity through the childbearing of blessed Mary, grant that we who have seen your glory revealed in our human nature and your love made perfect in our weakness may daily be renewed in your image and conformed to the pattern of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father Amen. in heaven, hallowed Amen. be your name. Amen. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be.